Kia ora, scallywags. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Today we're going to take a look at resource gathering in Skull and Bones. The tutorial is next to nothing on this. So what you want to do is open up the knowledge tab and then find your codex. Your codex is going to give you the whereabouts of each of the materials that we are going to require. So quite early on we need to find some acacia. Now that's under the raw materials part and it's a wood. I'm on Xbox so I'm going to press A to track. What that's going to do is it's going to give us locations on the map where acacia can be found. So we'll just highlight that and we'll go for a little sail. So we've reached our location and as you can see lo loot acacia. So there is some just floating in the sea. Now that's fine but we're not going to get that all the time. What we need to do is find a node. Here we go. Harvest Acacia. So once we've found that, just hit Y. And there's a little mini game that I am terrible at. We just need to hit the trigger in the green zone. And as you can see, we are getting a lot of Acacia. I can't remember how much you need. I think it's three. So once you've got three, you can head back to the port and craft yourself your first boat so that is how you find raw materials now you need raw material materials in order to craft refined materials but you can also find refined materials on ships and at settlements so i'm after some bronze ingots instead of looking for copper i'm just going to go straight for the resource that i want so we will track the bronze ingot and what that's going to do is that's going to bring up a settlement and it's also going to bring up some trade routes so i can either buy my resource or if you want to be a real pirate you can take it so let's head to this little settlement and we'll see how much it costs all right so we've reached our settlement now at these settlements you can buy and sell resources not all settlements have everything so you do have to sail around so i can see here that the bronze ingots that i need there's six of them and there are a hundred doubloons or crowns or whatever you want to call it each so that's fine if you've got enough money i've got i've only got three thousand gold so what you can also do is you can attack the merchant ships and they are also carrying bronze ingots now just be aware we are pretty close to the settlement, so the minute that you open fire, the settlement is going to aggro to you as well, and that might cause uh, <laughs> might cause some problems. So, we'll attack these guys, and we will see what we get. So, I may or may not have died before. We, we, we won't talk about it. So, as you can see, I've just killed one ship, and I got two bronze ingots. We'll destroy this one as well. And I got two more. So this is a much quicker and, well not necessarily quicker, but you, you get more resources. You don't have to spend money, but you do have to be careful that, you know, you might get killed. So that covers raw and refined materials. Now, the next one is going to be already crafted things like alcohol, gunpowder, uh, I don't know, just sort of things like that. But the same thing, you just find it in your codex, track it, and you get shown some trade routes and some settlements that will have the required resource. So the final early game resource that you need is going to be animal pelts and leather. Now these are just found in the raw materials and the refined materials tab. Now I found when I tracked the refined materials, which is the leather, it didn't. Act, I hadn't found any settlements that had them available. So all it did was just show me areas on the map where sharks were. So it just meant I had to go and do some hunting. Now, 
In order to successfully hunt animals, we need to take our Dao, because when you shoot a cannon at a shark, surprise surprise, it damages the skin. You still get the meat, but you don't get a pelt or a skin, it just is damaged. So if we take our Dao, what that does is that allows us to throw spears at the shark and kill it. So we'll fast travel, well we won't fast travel, but we'll skip to the shark location and we'll do some hunting. Just like firing your cannons, when you're in the Dao, you pull out a spear and you just have to, oh, I'm terrible at this, you just have to hit the shark with the spear and as you can see, we've got some shark skin. So we'll pick that up and now in order to turn that into leather, we have to head back to St. Anne's and go and have a chat to the, I think, I think they called it the refiner. Anyway, we'll head back there. You've been holding your own. All right, so we've made it to the refinery. Now, <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but this was very confusing. You have to give them the resources that you want to be converted now as you can see there's a little yellow hammer beside the resources that you have so we'll give them some leather and well not leather sorry we'll give them some resources to turn into leather so we'll just give one now you have to actually grab the finished goods and then that is it complete i didn't grab it i just left it there and i ran off to deliver it and obviously i didn't have it Anyway, that is a very quick kind of run through all of the kind of early game resources that we require. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today. I really do appreciate it. And yeah, we'll catch you all next time. Ciao.